And a traffic stop led to a large bust of guns and drugs on Indy's near southeast side. Fox 59 Jesse Wells explains why police believe rather CBS 4's Jesse Wells. Excuse me. He explains why police believe cases like this help prevent violent crimes. The investigation started right here on this street where police were searching for one suspect they knew had an active warrant for drug related charges that quickly led to a traffic stop and a police chase that ended with two men being arrested. These two guns and drugs were recovered by IMPD following a traffic stop in October. Body camera footage allegedly showed 20 year old Kavion Noel and three other suspects flee the scene despite escaping arrest at that time. Court records show a warrant was issued for Noel in November. That warrant remained active when officers showed up to this stretch of Cruft Street Tuesday night. Officers were aware of individuals in their beat and attempted to locate this individual who was wanted, and that's what initiated this. So this was started by proactive police work. As part of that investigation, officers tried to pull over a car here on Shelby, leading to a brief chase that ended a mile away here on Nelson Street. 19-year-old Jamar Williams was arrested after police claim he dropped a backpack containing drugs and multiple guns with extended magazines and a machine gun conversion device attached. IMPD says this rifle was also found inside the suspect's car. Officers then quickly located Noel, the man they were originally looking for, inside a second car nearby. They say Noel had a fourth gun also with the machine gun conversion device attached. These guns being taken off the street hopefully result in a safer community. In fact, while the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force has seized more than 350 illegally possessed firearms this year, in recent years, the department as a whole has recovered 10 times that number, more than 3,500 guns a year. This is just a good example of everyday police work, officers going out and doing their, their job. Uh, and while we focus on, on crime guns across the agency and specialized units, you know, this is an example of one where it's just uh, middle shift patrol officers going out, being proactive and getting these guns off the street. Finally, both suspects are facing preliminary drug and gun related charges. Ultimately, it will be up to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office to file formal charges in the case. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News.